Across to some latest news coming in, uh, the Ram Mandir politics, who's being invited and who's not, that entire politics continues to be. Well, talking about the Uddhav Thakre faction, uh, they're claiming that they have not received any kind of invitation for the grand consecration, that particular ceremony of Ram Janmabhoomi Temple in Ayodhya. Party MP Sanjay Raut says that they will never invite those who have contributed in reality for the Ram Mandir agitation. We haven't received an invitation because Bala Sahib Thakre and Shiv Sena had a major role to play in the entire movement. We don't want to make a national festival out of this ceremony, nor do we want to politicize it. That's the word coming in from Mr. Sanjay Rao. We'll try and listen in to what he said. Uh, let's play out that reaction, please. क्योंकि हमारा बहुत बड़ा योगदान रहा बालासाहेब ठाकरे जी का और शिवसेना का शिवसेना का तो हमको हमारा योगदान का हिस्सा नहीं मिलेगा सब कुछ तो ये लोगों ने किया है ना अगर आप राम मंदिर की क्रेडिट लेना चाहते हो तो देश में आज जो हो, हो रहा है पूंछ में हो रहा है संसद में घुसपैठ हो रही है उसकी भी जिम्मेदारी लो भाई तो क्या अगर क्या शिवसेना अगर निमंत्रण नहीं आता देखिए राम मंदिर किसी की व्यक्तिगत प्रॉपर्टी नहीं है जागीर नहीं है राम मंदिर अयोध्या में राम का मंदिर होना है सबसे हमारे लिए गर्व की बात है क्योंकि हमारा योगदान रहा है लेकिन हम उसका राजकीय उत्सव नहीं मनाना चाहते Cutting across to my colleague Pallavi, who is with us on the broadcast. Pallavi, clearly who is invited and who is not. Uh, that politics will go on till the till the 22nd of January. That's right. And you know what has happened really, Anusha, is that the, the claim going in from those who are looking at the arrangements have said that all party presidents have been invited. Leader of the opposition have also been invited. So Sonia Gandhi, Malika Jun Kharge have got an invite. We'll have to wait to see where there's going to be any clarification issue, but clearly politics has broken out over it. You remember when Shiv Sena broke away from the BJP and joined hands with the NCP and Congress, uh, the BJP has always attacked Shiv Sena and accused it of being anti-Hindu because it was with the party like the Congress, especially when a Sanatan Dharm and the Veer Savarkar issue rose. And therefore, Shiv Sena has always made the point that when it comes to Ram Mandir, even before the BJP realized it, it was a movement which was begun by the Shiv Sena, Bal Thakre and Uddham Thakre. In fact, Uddhav Thakre, if you remember, had taken a march and a handful of his party colleagues had gone with him to Ayodhya to make the point that Ram Mandir is an issue they recognize it much before the BJP did. Um, it's going to be a youth ceremony. 22nd of January is going to be very important. Um, Palvi, do you also think that this is a momentous occasion ahead of 2024? Uh, this was one of the poll promises of the BJP. There was much criticism, including from parties like Shiv Sena, that they have promised a temple, but nobody knows when they're going to really build it. And the BJP's answer has been, look, we've built a temple. We've also told you a date. And I believe this kind of credit war of some nature is likely to escalate in the days to come. Yeah, and it's been mired in a lot of illegal political uh, controversies as well. Uh, and the fact that uh, that Babri Masjid locks were uh, op open up, uh, that has been a criticism that the Congress Party has never been to live without. The Ram Mandir is certainly an emotive issue, especially uh, in the northern area. And for the BJP speaking, it is going to be a turnaround moment as far as the Lok Sabha elections are concerned. It's obviously going to be a very grand show, huge arrangements, the Prime Minister himself taking the lead. And yes, it is definitely going to be one of the decisive factors as far as the battle for 2024 is concerned. All right. Uh, we'll try and get more reactions and voices on this entire story as far as this particular development is concerned. Uh, but as we see the politics that continues to peak uh, over this entire issue about who's been invited and who has not been invited, Ram Mandir and the construction of Ram uh, Temple in Ayodhya is something, a burning issue that has dominated the country's politics for, for more than four decades. The manner in which this entire agitation started, the kind of support that it got at that point during the 80s and 90s from different political parties at that time Bala Sahib Thakre was one of the leading voices which had categorically supported this entire movement and now when uh, his party or Uddhav Thakre is not being invited uh, we have the likes of Mr. Sanjay Rao who have taken 
uh, an exception or a pot shot that look we are not invited we are not a part of this entire ceremony uh, many uh, uh, you know film stars uh, people from different uh, social political uh, people from uh, cinema from art various religious leaders from across the country have been invited for this grand ceremony which is going to take place this will be a momentous occasion needless to say that the top functionaries of the government will be present the prime minister is expected to lead this entire event and it would be a day to reckon it will be a day to remember keeping in mind that the that the manner in which this entire agitation unfolded the judgment that came from the supreme court today a temple stands at that place Hello.